Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Uh, it's been a little while since I made a video. I just wanted to do a real quick one and uh, get something out of the way that I've been meaning to do for a little while. Um, basically what it is is when you're in XBMC um, and you're trying to add folders, in particularly for ROM Collection Browser, you've got to give ROM Collection Browser the, uh, the app destination for it to launch the app properly and I found that some of the folders XBMC won't let you into um, the best way I guess is to just to show you what I mean um, so we're gonna go into XBMC and we're going to go into settings file manager we're gonna go into add source we're gonna go into browse and we're gonna go into root file system which will take me into the file system that's actually on my minix box um, okay this folder so I've highlighted backup folder and I'm just go over here and now I'm gonna click on it and it just takes me back up to the top of the uh, list. So again, that was a bug. I don't know why it went into the folder, but uh, yeah, it should enough. Um, again, so I'm clicking on it, and it just takes me back up to the top of the list. Now, this has nothing to do with super user and rooting and anything like that um, basically all it boils down to is folder permissions um, so I'm going to show you how to get into that folder when you want to in XBMC uh, as far as I know it doesn't matter what what version of XBMC you know it's just a simple matter of folder permissions so we are going to go and press the home button and then we are going to go into ES file explorer and you get something like this what you want to do is find the folder that it won't let you into so in this case it's uh, slash device and backup so as you can see, I did put a folder in there. There is a folder in there. It's not an empty folder or anything like that. So there's no reason that XBMC um, wouldn't show me anything for that. So what you want to do is you want to uh, hold down on the backup folder until it's selected. And then you want to go over to more. And then you want to go to properties. And then you want to go into um, uh, change for permissions and then there you go so basically I'm just gonna put everything as full permission okay and now I'm pressing back and back again and we will go back to our desktop open up XBMC we're gonna go back into settings file manager add source browse
root file system and back up and there is my XBMC pix folder hopefully that helps